bloody door shut. Bleeding freezing out there, guys. How are we all doing? Well, welcome to Country Van Life TV. I've got the uh, got my heater on. I can't be plugged up to the uh, to the landline at the moment. The electrics uh, keep everything nice and warm in the van while it's set outside my house, uh, which is lovely. While we're doing this roof, it's getting a bit chilly now. Have a nice so. Uh, I like to keep everything to temperature, keep everything nice and warm in here so nothing goes, you know, damp. Even though there's no damp in here at all, you know, stuff just gets cold overnight, doesn't it? So it's nice to keep a nice temperature. I know we're all doing, we're all good. Uh, warm welcome to the channel. Uh, we've got the, uh, the fit of the diesel heater. Uh, now, I think I'll do this in two parts. Uh, it's, it's not, a, as I said before, uh, you know, I'm not a tutorial or review channel. I will review stuff if it comes through and I will show you how I do things. It's just about me doing my the way I do it more than anything and uh, hopefully you get one or two tips from it and hopefully I'll get one or two tips from you guys with your comments because I uh, love the comments you know it's what my channel is all about you know with the issues I've had with depression anxiety uh, talking to you lot it's uh, it does it really pulls me through and that's why I love doing YouTube uh, doing uh, videos you know I've been doing them for nearly five years now even though I finished the old channel which was a um, I was a vape advocate on my old uh, cart vapor TV channel even though that's finished now all the videos are still there to view they'll always be there to view that's just a part of my life now and it's a uh, you know it's it's part of my past reviewing life as such because I'm not doing that anymore you know we're all over on um, country van life now the van life uh, living the dream hopefully uh, though it won't be a dream all the time so don't get any illusions with van lives you know it's not always a dream it is you're privileged to do it you really are privileged to do something like this either you've saved up a bit or you've got a decent pension which I uh, have got which I've uh, you know worked for all my life and uh, when I retire uh, I'm more or less retired now only a couple of months left uh, as you know I was going van life this month but that's all been changed now with the engine blowing up uh, I've had to work a few months extra to uh, pay for the engine, but uh, by the by, these things happen. Uh, we have to cope with these things in life, you know. It's uh, the same with my anxiety. You know, there will be times when I'm down. I'm sure there will be when I'm out in the van once I do it. But uh, that should be late spring, early summer, hopefully. Right, you know, I'm going off on one again. Don't I? I go off on a tangent. I really do. I come and sit down. I have a project in my head to do when I come and sit in front of the camera, and whoosh, I'm away. I go on the tangent. Then I've gone completely left to centre. You get used to that. <laughs> but I do like to ramble, especially when I do my live, because I used to do live streams as well on my other channel. And I will be doing live streams on the Van Life channel once I'm out on the road, doing the uh, business full time. So lovely jubbly. So I hope you enjoy me on those. I do love the live streams. And those can go on for hours, I can tell you. We've had some nice long streams on the uh, other channel. But uh, that's for the future. Right, Stephen. Concentrate. Uh, diesel heater we're getting that fitted uh, so I'm gonna do this in two parts as I say I'm not a tutorial or not a reviewer or nothing guys but uh, I do do it uh, if you want to take some hits from it hints or if you've got any ideas for me put them down below I love the comments guys smash them comments really and smash the thumbs up as well I really do love the comments uh, the last video I did was my um, stickers uh, we will be having I've decided to have the old wall of fame up here once we get some stickers come through, we've had none come through yet, so uh, uh, I think there's two, three, maybe four on the way. Uh, there's one or two uh, you guys have purchased a, a sticker as well. So if you're a, if you're a Van Life channel or a, any YouTubing channel, outdoor channel, send me a sticker with your address and I'll send you one of mine back, lovely. But if you wish to purchase one, if you're not a YouTuber and you're just watching or you're a subscriber or just watching the channel and you wish to have a country van life tv sticker uh, all helps towards the maintenance of the beautiful christine uh, for our big trips when we go completely um feral on the road uh van life uh they'll all be going up there so you know uh, that's in my last video if you wish to purchase one of those if you're just a viewer it's in my last video it's only i think it's only a fiver uh but uh, lovely jubbly but it's free to other youtubers and that's where the uh wall of fame will be going up there so everyone that's got a sticker uh, sends me a sticker you'll have a more or less have a shout out on all my videos because your sticker will be up there on the back end of all my uploads well most of my uploads as well they'll be all over the van right uh where am i what are we talking about diesel heater it's a chinese diesel heater uh this one cost me 82 pounds so it's the cheapest one i found out there 
But I think they're all around about the same price, 82. Some of them are going for like £150 and they're the same units. You get the 2 kilowatt and the 5 kilowatt, and basically they are the same unit. So don't be fooled by that uh, 2 and uh, 5 kilowatt or whatever. They're all the same driver units inside. Uh, so yeah, we're going to do this in two parts. The first part will be getting it out of the box, seeing what it's all about. Uh, it's a little bit of a big job, but uh, I think most people who are quite handy uh, can do this job. Obviously, if you're not okay with uh, gas or you know electrics, even though it's just 12 volts, get someone else to have a look at that for you just to check it out. But uh, I think it's uh, pretty easy to do. Uh, it's a bit of a long drawn out job because you've got to drill holes for the venting of the exhaust gases. You've got to wire up the 12 volt system and you've got to plug in the uh, diesel supply line. Comes with a tank, I believe. But uh, so the first video will be what we've got in the box. Just work out how I'm going to do everything and everything fits together and just get familiar with what's inside the box of these Chinese diesel heaters. There's millions and millions of tutorials out there on how to fit these guys. And uh, and also in this uh, part one, we'll look at the what's inside the box, work out in my, in my head how I'm going to do it. Uh, then in part one as well, we're going to find out where we're going to put it in the van. Now, you know, I've got quite a long vehicle here. It's a 3.3 tonne, I believe, and it's uh, just under 7 metres long. So it's quite a big van. There's quite a few areas to put it. Now, one of the issues with Chinese or any diesel heater, you've got the pump clicking click 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 once it settles down it's just a click click just a gentle click but on the ramp up click 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 till it gets to temperature then it'll settle down just go click click but uh that clicking might get on my wick a little bit so i'm going to try and tuck it as well as much as i can uh especially when i'm you know because it you can put it on a timer setting so it can turn on before you get up and go off when you go to sleep and all that uh so you don't want that clicking disturbing you while you sleep so i'm going to try and keep that the actual pump well away from the bedroom try and isolate it and muffle the sand a little bit so uh, i'll work out where that's going but there's loads of places you can put it in this van uh, i could have it up the front there in the cab i could have it uh, i could have it in the engine bay i could have it uh, in any of the uh, cupboards i could have it in the gas cupboard though that's a bit iffy next to gas you don't want gas and petrol and ignition and pumps together I could have it in there, I could have it under slug in any of these, um, under these beds here. I could have it in any of the cupboards here. Now I was going to take out the original central heating heater down here guys, just below the big wardrobe here. Because uh, I don't trust it, it's 27 years old and I don't trust old gas technology like that. I'm not willing to run that, even though I could get it serviced and checked over. Uh, I don't think they pump out that much uh, power anyway regarding heat. And I don't think they're that economic as well, so I'm not going to use that. As I said, I was going to pull that out and put my Chinese diesel heater there, but I've changed my mind. I want to try and keep the originality of this van because I've kept most of the originality, even though I've, you know, I've refitted it, revamped it, upgraded it all the way through from top to bottom, more or less. Now you can see on all my videos that I've done, uh, I've done everything on this van, even though some of it didn't need doing, I've still done it anyway because it's going to be my life, this is going to be my home, everything I own is going to be inside this vehicle, so I want it to my specifications, and I was going to pull that out, but uh, I'm going to try and keep the originality of the van, I'm going to leave it in, even though I'm not going to use it, I'm going to unplug the gas supply to it, isolate the gas supply, isolate the uh, 12 volt supply from it, so it's you know, if somebody wants to repair it in the future, they can do, get it serviced and work it, so I'm going to leave that there, so the Chinese heater won't be going there. Obviously off that heating system, there's a, a, an airflow system running off that all through the van. But I will be using that airflow system to plug into the Chinese diesel heater. The diesel, I keep saying Chinese, the diesel heater. That airflow system will be plugged into the airflow system of the diesel heater. So we'll have central heating in effect from, that, uh, from the new diesel heater. So it could have gone there, but now I've changed my mind. Uh, I could have made a, a unit inside the um, uh, a sealed off unit, watertight unit, inside the uh, massive, massive wet room. But again, now uh, I thought it's a bit too close to the bedroom for that as well. Uh, I could have had it in the back cabinet as well, the back uh, garage. That would have been an ideal spot for this. I'll go right through the van and show you what I'm going to, what I'm thinking of doing, uh, and we'll have a look through the van. But first of all, what we'll do, we'll get this box up on a table. And we'll see what's inside this box. 
I've got the radio on light in the background. Just get the table in the middle. I'm not got a nice light file wire table here, guys. I could have gone for one of the fancy ones that you plug in and swivel around, and it's uh, there's a big stanchion on it, and you can swivel it on your seats. But uh, way too much money for me. I think it's, I think I showed you this before. It cost me twelve quid from um, uh, the range, and uh, I can put this anywhere and can have it over my lap like that when I'm eating my dinner. I can use it for my uh, laptop work and all my office work. I can have it down there. I can have it in the cabin. I can have it in the bedroom. And also, you know, it's fold up as well. You can fold it up, put it away if you don't want the table. And also, I can take it outside with those ones with the stanchions that you screw into your seat that swivel every which way. You can't take those outside, but uh, that one I can take outside. And I think it was about 12 quid. Lovely piece of kitchen. It's nice and grey as well. It goes with all my colouring inside my seating. I'll also show you the way I've done all my seats as well. I've recovered all the seats. Now, blimey, I don't know one end of a sewing needle from the other end, uh, and I was thinking of sewing it or putting a, uh, uh, an elastic on it so it's elasticated so you can take it off and wash it. But uh, I'm afraid I haven't got those powers within my skills sewing, doing stuff like that. Uh, Christine, God bless her, she used to love the sewing machine. She would have had this fitted from top to bottom with all her sewing uh, work, she really would. She would have loved to have got cracking on with this. I can see her now doing all the curtains and all the upholstery and everything, carpets, all the pillows, doing them all on the sewing machine. Bless her. I wish she was still here to enjoy all this. But uh, anyway, uh, I've done it myself and I've done it. I've done it with bloody uh, safety pins. I'll show you that in a minute, guys, when we have a look uh, where we're going to put this uh, heater. Anyway, let's get this bloody box up. Lovely jubbly. Have a walk to the back and get the uh, heater. It's still in the box. I've not looked at it yet. It is a big old chunky box, so I think it's about uh, uh, was it 82 or 85 quid that included included postage as well. So uh, you can't moan at that. I mean, and if it goes wrong or things it plays up after 12 months, 80 quid for 12 months of eating, you know, it's still a bargain in it. But uh, they are quite easy to maintain. You can change the fuel pump if you wish. You can give it a good clean out. You can look after the um, the jets, the air, the uh, Diesel jets inside as well, they're good clean. So they're quite easy to maintain because they're a simple piece of kit. Blimey, I remember the old days going back uh, 10 years to get one of these types of heaters in your mobile home. You're looking at a thousand quid. A thousand quid. I think they still sell them now for that price. How the same business with these new products out now, I don't know. But uh, anyway, let's crack this. I hope you can see me there, guys. I'm probably out of shot the most of the time. Right, lovely job light on what we got here. We've got a 10 litre tank. There we go, a 10 litre tank. Must wrap the inside in there. I presume it's the uh, valve setting. Yeah, it's a valve to uh, plug in the uh, diesel pump supply. There we go, nice big tank. Lovely job light. Uh, you've got screw holes there to screw it, screw holes straight through there and through there to screw it to the side of whatever wall you're going to fit it to. Uh, I presume, yeah, there's a an outlet where you're going to put your uh, fitting for the outlet of the fuel. And there's one on the bottom as well. There, probably can't see that very well in this light. Uh, that's a tank, quite a big tank. Bigger than I thought, actually. That is big. Now I need to find somewhere to put that. Not only somewhere to put it, somewhere where it's easy to get fuel in there when you need fuel. Because you certainly don't want to bring diesel inside your uh, habitation unit. Um, that's the heat sink isolator for when it goes down through the floor of your uh, vehicle. So you need an isolator to keep the um, hot air exhaust system away from any parts of the van. So it isolates it so there's no fear of any fire or anything. So that's your uh, heat sink isolator. Bit of a manual there. Where are we? It says uh, kilowatts 258 manual. I think they're all the same basically. This was uh, advertised as a five, but uh, I think they throw them out as twos as well. Right, let's have a look inside here. And that's the heater. Well, that's not as big as I thought it was. Uh, that's the uh, fuel pump that I was on about. The thing that goes click, 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 click. Shut up! Click, 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 click. So I want to isolate the sound from that as much as I can. That's the uh, pump. I'm sure you've seen loads of these types of videos if you're thinking of a diesel heater. Let's get this out here. Lovely job, there's some wire in there as well. And there it is. Uh, it's quite, uh, quite heavy. It's not as big as I thought it was. 
but it's big enough. There it is. Simple little box like that. That's the air intake. Uh, that's the exhaust there. Lovely. That's the exhaust uh, and intake. You've got the call intake of air and the exhaust of the hot gases there, which go through the bottom of your van, through that isolator tape, through an exhaust uh, manifold. And outside, lovely jubbly. Got all the electrics ready to plug, it, plug in as well there. The harness, nice. So just pop that down. It's a bit of a heavy piece of kit. There we've got the uh, inboard remote control there, and also you get with that a uh, sorry the uh, wall controller there, the wall controller panel, and also you get a remote control as well. There we go, guys. So uh, I think they're relatively easy to set up. So that's that. Uh, let's just have a look what we've got inside this box. There with me. I know it's just all the uh, fitting gobbins inside this one. It's like bloody Christmas. Right, and inside there, that's the exhaust manifold going out, as I say. The exhaust manifold. Oh, it's very simple, guys. The principle of these: the exhaust manifold goes on the exhaust outlet there, goes through the bottom of your vehicle. You drill an hole wherever it's going to go through the bottom floor of your vehicle. That's the heat sink isolator plate where the exhaust valve goes through the manifold to stop anything getting hot around the van. So that keeps everything at a, a decent temperature. Uh, there's the silencer, the exhaust silencer there with all the relevant screws. Lovely jubbly, all nice and simple. I've got the wiring harness there for the 12 volt supply. Okay, that obviously goes to your 12 volt off your, your uh, leisure battery and also links up to the controller panel and the actual heater, of course. And it, all, all you've got in there is all the manifolds, all the various manifolds there, that pulls out, guys. This is for the uh, distributing the heat throughout the van. Uh, that will be connected to my manifold system that's already in the vehicle from the old uh, central heating. That will just connect to it. So the hot air coming through this uh, heater will go into my system that's already in the vehicle, pumping air to the front, pumping air to the, uh, the uh, wet room and pumping air to the uh, rear bedroom. So lovely job. So that connects to all that. Uh, a few more manifolds there. That's an exhaust for the exhaust uh, hot air coming into the vehicle. Lovely jubbly. Again, you've got cable ties. Uh, that's your fuel line there from your tank to your uh, heater. Looks all pretty simple, guys. And there's just various brackets in there for the exhaust system. There's a, a filter box there for the intake of the cool air to the uh, heater. All very simple. I don't think there's anything else in there, so we can get rid of that uh, big box. Lovely job. Let's open the door and uh, exit this box. I don't think there's nothing else in there. Don't want to miss it. Just make sure you don't miss nothing, guys. No, nothing else in there. Dabbly jabbly. And uh, out you go. <laughs> Shut the door. Shut the door, Mrs. Oh, uh, Shut that door. Oh, do you remember? Shut that door. Was it Larry? Larry Grayson? Uh, right. Well, so there we go. So that's all nice and simple. I'll just put it all on the table. So what I'm going to do now, guys, we're going to uh, put the table over there and put all this out the way. Line it all up. Set it all up on the table. Read the instructions thoroughly, guys. If you're unsure, have a look at uh, some videos. But uh, you've got to be careful what videos you watch installing stuff like this. Because... Uh, Though everybody out there thinks they're an expert, they're not guys, they're really not. You really need to be careful. Uh, I've, been, I've been an electrician, whatever, and a fitter all my life, so I know what I'm doing. Um, but uh, be careful, if you're unsure, get someone professional. If you do fit it yourself, get someone to follow up who's uh, in the profession to check the uh, electrics, check the volt, 12 volt system, to check the exhaust system is working perfectly. There's no exhaust coming into your vehicle. Help, you don't want that guys. Uh, check your fuel lines perfect with no leaking. You don't want a leaky fuel line. And just check that everything's isolated and everything's fused correctly. Uh, you've got to be careful guys. So, uh, though YouTube is great, there's a lot of misinformation out there. So, double check, double check if you're unsure. Right, we're clear. Just changing my subject again. Just get rid of my pillows, are you guys? Throw them on the bed. Lovely jubbly, it's quite warm in here, where are we temperature? Outside it is uh, 50, 
and inside 75. Nice and toasty, lovely jubbly. Right, this, uh, the way I've wrapped, uh, I don't know if you saw the old furniture, have I got a piece up there somewhere? Uh, yeah, this is what the old um, cushions were covered in. This horrible d uh, dank pink, I know it was good in the day, it really was good in the day. Uh, horrible, horrible pink colour, all this was coloured like that guys, in that, this colour. Which is not very nice at all to be honest. So uh, I got rid of that straight away. Uh, just by covering, as I say, I'm no good with a bloody needle or uh, sewing or anything or putting elastics to fabric. I can't do none of that. So all I've done it, I've bought some throws. These are just normal throws. I think I bought three throws. Uh, they're velvet like uh, plush throws. I think there was um, five pound ninety nine each. These throws. And I bought three, and uh, what I've done is just uh, pull one of these off so you can see. I've cut the throw to size to whatever unit I'm covering, whatever pillar I'm covering, as in this one. And all I've done is uh, I've gone round, see that guys? I've gone round with staple pins, I've pulled it tight and just gone all round the area with staple pins to cover the seat. So if I want to take it off and wash it, all I do is take the style pins off, take it off and give it a wash or give it a white white in situ and uh, it covers the uh, cushion at trace as you can see. It's covered, the ends are nice and tidy as well. they have made quite a good job of that hopefully. That end's nice and tidy as well. And it, I've done that with all of them guys. All of those, uh, here we go. We've got one, two, three, four cushions here, that corner unit. I've done them all with... Um, there you go, you can see that corner unit guys, just bend you down a bit. Hopefully it don't pop off the, uh, there you go, just scan that round. There you go, lovely jubbly. And the bloody camera's fell off the uh, window now. Oh, why can't you get decent bloody camera mounts? I think most of them are bloody shite, ain't they? Still, never mind. Okay, there's a corner unit. And I bought these as well. These come from the same shop. I say these throws were... I think they were £5.99 each, so I bought three of those, and I thought, and I bought two of these mats. Now these were £2.50, bloody it's like an Indian blanket. They'll be nice on the floor as well, but I thought they'd be nice, just thrown over the back. I might cut them down a bit, guys. No, I've done, just throw it over the back there, lovely jubbly. Just to get that bit of a, bit of a feel, a bit of a vibe going on. How does that look? I think that looks quite nice. There's one over there as well. So I've got two of those throws. I think they're £2.50 each. Lovely. Well, I think that, I think that looks nice. It's all nice and tidy now. Uh, the way I had it before, I had the throws just resting on here. And of course, when you sat on it, they started falling away. So that's why I've put uh, safety pins on it. So if I should meet any anybody that knows how to sew out there in the van world, when I'm out in the wild, uh, perhaps we can do a better job, I don't know, but uh, that's pucker. That'll suit me down to the ground. As I say, I can pull them off if I want to clean them and all that. Can you see me very well in there with the dark? It's a bit bright with that light behind me. Right, let's take you off there and take you outside. Just bear with me. Right, let's go outside. You see there, there's the, all the parts out on the table. Is that lovely job, Lou? I've got a heater blasting away down there. Because I'm plugged into the electrics at the moment. Where can I put you? Can I put you? Oops, Daisy. Can I put you? Are you going to stick up there? This this stick sucker on this bloody thing. You're going to lock in there. Oh, I think you might do. Turn you around. Bend you down. Oh, sorry. Is that painful? <laughs> Got me right in your bloody face here. Like one of my shirts. There we go. Watch ya! I've got quite a few on my site guys, all on my merchandise show. Plus some Talbot t-shirts as well, Talbot t-shirts. Right, uh, where am I going to put it inside the... Oh, yeah, it's a bit dark, isn't it? It's a bit dark over our ears. Let's open that skylight. Try and get a bit, a bit of light in there. Here, a bit more light. Lovely jubbly. Should we have this one as well? Oh, uh, let there be light. Lovely. On my heat's now going out the bloody roof. Right. Sit down on my little sexy sofa. I do, I like that, I like that. I, like, I love the way it's turned out. Nice and plush. I'll be able to have a kip on here as well. I don't fancy going in my bedroom. 
this comes out this falls out to a double bed as well which is lovely jubbly that's a nice viewpoint actually for videos isn't it up there lovely jubbly right uh, so where's the actual heater going Stephen I can hear you saying right let's just pop this off let's just put these to one side for the moment lovely and this one as well just pop that down there in the driver's cab lovely jubbly right as you can see down there uh, that's with the all this folds out so it becomes a double bed let's uh, try and tilt you down a bit more if I can I might have to bring I'll you down with me can you just put, pop me seal pop me cork pop me cherry right let's get down let's get down and have a look hey eh? let's get down and have a look and see what the bloody hell I'm on about there's the gas locker okay that's the gas locker there the steel gas locker so here I showed you when I done a uh, shot of under the cab this is just a floor straight down there's no electrics there's no mechanics there's no wires or nothing under there so I can vent my heater out of there no problem at all and from the heater I run the electrics to my 12 volt supply line which is just there going through the back of the units here lovely jubbly so the uh, 12 volt line will go to the back there and up to my 12 volt system up there lovely jubbly uh, right I'll just get that uh, diesel heater I'll put it the right way up so you can see exactly. Right, let's get down here and have a look. So if you can see there, there's loads of room in there. I can have it that way or I can have it this way. I'll make my decision up when I come to fitting it. And uh, if you can see there, see down there? That's the venting system for the original heating system inside the van. So all I'll do is I'll plug up the venting system, the hot air exhaust system from the heater to that venting system there. And then it will drive it all the way through the van to the wet room, to the bedroom, to the living room. It'll drive it all over nice. But uh, the majority of the heat, because it's the first vent in the line, will be coming out in my living quarters here, in my dining area, where we need most of the heat. Lovely jubbly. Uh, the control panel. Uh, obviously, uh, you've got the control panel, but you've got a remote as well. Where's that control panel gun? Uh, that control panel. The heat coming off that fire. Uh, control panel. I'll probably put it up here. Uh, where? Because this is this wall is going to be my sticker wall of fame. So this will be all stickers up here eventually, hopefully. If you guys get your fingers out and send me one of yours, I'll send you one of mine back. Lovely jubbly. Plug, plug, plug. Send them bloody stickers. Anybody that wants to buy one, look at the last video. Uh, so the actual control panel of the heater will pop it up there. So it's nice and close to the 12 volt system. And we can see everything there. Lovely jubbly. The remote I'll have in the bedroom for in the mornings or whatever, or whatever noise. But yeah, it has got a timer on it, so you can set a timer. My it's trouble with wearing bloody glasses on YouTube. Bloody reflection. Oh yeah, uh, so that'll go there. So that'll be all right there, won't it? Lovely jubbly. What we've got on the batteries? 13.7, not too bad. Not too bad in a nice cloudy day. Lovely jubbly. Right, let's, uh, let's have a look where we're going to um, fit this. Um, fuel tank and the pump as well. So I want the pump outside the van because uh, of the noise, try and get all the noise down, but I will suppress the noise as well. Uh, so I was thinking of having it in my uh, locker there under the bed uh, so you've got my bed here my bed's extended uh, obviously the bathroom uh, wet room is to the uh, left there as well uh, and I was thinking of having it uh, down here in this corner in the uh, back locker uh, the back garage but uh, under my bed you know I've got quite a big bed there it's a big a big single extra large sing can you have a large single <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about uh, it's a big single anyway that I've built and I've raised it as well so I've got a bigger garage uh, it's about just over six foot by four foot I think so it's nice and big single a big single not a double single I don't know what I'm going on about here but it's nice and cozy anyway for two people <laughs> should the day ever come but uh, I doubt it uh, but uh, yeah so I was thinking of going uh, in the locker there but uh, under the bed with the uh, motor clicking as well the pump clicking and the fact I've got a heater under the bed just uh, rings a few alarm bells. So 
don't think I'm going to go in here. Uh, the other option there, just spin you around here, guys. Just come around with me. Hope you don't get giddy. <laughs> uh, it's getting going a bit cloudy all of a bleeding sudden. Going a bit dark over Aries, I tell you. Lovely jubbly. Uh, so I was thinking of going in here, in the gas locker. Uh, let's just open this up. Nice big gas locker on these guys. Uh, so I can get two, uh, get two tanks in there. I've got one in each, one of each tank, uh, a winter and a summer one. It's a bit dark in there, isn't it? Blimey, that is dark. Uh, and I was thinking of putting it up against the side of the wall here, inside the uh, gas chamber. But uh, I've tried uh, putting the tank in there. It don't quite fit, so I would have to extend this locker a little bit out the back. I ain't going to do that. I don't want to mess about with the locker because it's um, it's what they class as a gas locker because obviously the gas arises should it leak. And it comes out the vents on the top of the door here. Uh, so I don't want to mess about with the actual structure of the locker because... Um, you know, I'll compromise the uh, seals in there, so I don't want to do that, so I'll change my mind. I ain't going in the gas locker. Uh, I think it was a bit of a daft idea in the first place. But uh, it could have worked. I could have put a partition in there and everything, but it's too much faffing about. The fact that it doesn't fit in there, I'd have to extend it, cut the gas locker. Don't want to do that, because I will compromise the seal within the uh, gas locker, so I ain't going in there. So what we're going to do instead, uh, if I just, just come down here, as I says, uh, the seat is about here, and the gas locker is under the seat, and uh, the actual um, heater will go lay here, either that way or along that way. Uh, so the heater will be there under the seat inside the habitation unit in my lounge, uh, and I'm going to have the uh, fuel line from here to that locker there. See that locker? Right, we'll go up to show you. Now it does actually fit in there, which is quite nice as well. So when I come to fill, instead of having a jelly can going inside the habitation unit, like most people do, and fill up inside the habitation unit and have the smell of diesel in the hab... No, I don't want, didn't want that. I want to try and do it outside, so we're going in here. So I'll just open this big old locker here. This locker is for all my fishing gear and everything, guys. My metal detector and all stuff will go in there eventually. I think it's going to start bloody raining again. Uh, right, so it's going in there. There you go. I've got it in situ. Uh, I may have it a bit higher. It may go higher up there, somewhere like that, guys. But uh, nice and handy. All I need to do is, when I'm filling it, open my locker door and fill up the uh, tank, which is lovely job. Like. So that'll be screwed to the wall in there. I'll have access to the flue. I might put. A, I might have a little funnel as well, just so no diesel gets spilt when I'm filling it up. The fuel line will be from the tank. And the fuel line will run from here, in, inside the van obviously, underneath the chairs. It'll run from here to the heater, We should be there. So it's, it's only that short distance there, so that's why I'm going to rock and roll with this. Right, lovely job, Lee. So thanks for that, guys. Uh, I think that's about bloody, was that half an hour, 40 minutes? I'm just, ex just explaining what I'm going to do. Bloody hell, don't I ramble. Lovely uh, job, Lee. So there you go, uh, that's the plans. Uh, any ideas? Can I put you down? This bloody bendy thing, stick thing on this is so hard to bloody... I might edit a lot of this. Can I? Will that stand up there? Are you gonna stand up? you gonna behave? Are you gonna suck on me table? Suck on me table? Somebody think that too tuned into a porno channel? Suck on me table. It's a bit bright, isn't it? Oh, that window's a bit bright, lad. Let's try and get you away from that window a bit. <laughs> get rid of that. <laughs> See my handiwork there. It works though, guys. It looks plush when it's in situ. May look a mess when it's out of situ, but uh, it bloody works. There we go. Lovely job, late. 39 bloody minutes. Just showing you where I'm going to put the damn thing. What's the actual fitting video going to be like? I might have to do this in four parts. <laughs> Trouble is, I just can't keep this shut long enough to uh, crack on and do the work. But uh, I think that'll be all right in there. So we're going to have the heater there linked up to my uh, central heating system, my venting system. 12 volt line will be going up there. The controller will be going up there as well. Uh, the fuel line will go into my cabinet. I'll keep the uh, pump this side of the cabinet. The cabinet. There's plenty of air going through in here. It's nice and cool down there. So the uh, motor shouldn't get overheated. But you've got that intake air coming in as well. So that should be fine. So I think that might work. And that and then I can fill up while I'm outside the vehicle. 
that'll be ideal because I don't want to fill it up inside. I don't want my tank inside where I have to come inside with a can of diesel and top up my diesel heater all the time. Because once you get the smell of diesel inside your vehicle, it's uh, hard to get it out. So uh, I want to try and keep all that topping up system outside the van. That will work a treat over there. I'm sure it will do. Anyway, any thoughts? If anybody's saying, well, you shouldn't be putting that nowhere near there. But uh, hey-ho. There you go. I'm going to put it there anyway. But uh, put your thoughts down, you guys. Uh, that's part one done and dusted. 40 bloody minutes. That's part one just done and dusted. Uh, thanks very much. Uh, we will see you on part two. Hopefully it'll only be two, two in the series. It won't be four or five. I'll try and get it a bit shorter next time. Till then, guys, don't forget, get a sticker if you wish. Give me a thumbs up, give me a like, and comment. Smash the comments down below. Let's see how many comments. Can we get 60 comments on this video down below? If it's just saying hello, or shut up, you brummy twat. Whatever you like, comment, thumbs up, subscribe. And don't forget my merch and all my stickers and all that, all that bloody blah. Till later, guys. You'll be good. Ta-da!